It's funny when life tests you on if you really believe it's a good day for a good day. If you're sitting here reeling because your Instagram account is gone, like mine is, it's a sign that it's time to do better. Hello, my love. Today, I'm sort of bringing you behind the scenes. There is a tremendous amount to catch up on, and um, I'm finding myself wanting more and more to dive deep into what's real. You know, life's been really interesting lately, and it's forcing me to think about what is most important, what brings me the most joy, and that's what this video is about today. If you're here because of either my thumbnail or my title about Instagram, I am going to give this Instagram conversation like literally 90 seconds at the most, and then we're gonna put it away forever. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, it was a Sunday, I was getting ready to go to dinner and I posted a reel. And the reel was trying on this amazing Forever 21 jacket that is literally a dupe for free people, okay? That's it. There's no terms violated. There was nothing <laughs> needing to be edited. It was just a reel. And I posted it. And like four seconds later, the entire screen went white. And it read, you have violated our terms. We are giving you 24 hours to appeal this if you think it's been done in error. And we will then reevaluate. So I kept logging back in and like over the hours, it was like that picture in Back to the Future when like Michael J. Fox's siblings start to disappear. It was like my account started disappearing. You couldn't see my, my followers anymore. All my content was gone. And then all of a sudden my profile picture was gone until Monday midday, I log in and basically Instagram said, I violated the terms, my account's been deleted, there's absolutely no way to get it back. And I'm still a little um, emotional about it, not because, oh my God, the vanity metric of like followers, it's not even about that, it's the connection with you. <laughs> and it's all the content that I was putting out that's absolutely gone. As a CEO and founder of a couple companies, it also makes me like fire red angry that I would put so much stock into something that was never there to support me in the end. I should have read the contract a little bit more. You might be asking, I hope you talked to them. Did you call someone? <laughs> have you ever tried to reach out to Instagram? There is absolutely no customer service. There is a phone number that basically reads, don't call us, we don't answer. Um, and once you lose an account, you have no way of reaching them or contacting them. You know, this is one of those drop the oars moments where it's like, okay, let me just take a minute here. Um, not that Instagram was ever an end all be all for me. It's just a shocker. And it's the tip of the iceberg, I believe, to so many things, which is why I'm sitting here telling you this. First of all, if you're here because this has happened to you, this is what I would say. Don't go back. <laughs> like, why would we ever go back to something that cares so little about your well being? This is just something I have to stand up for. And so, Instagram, you didn't get it right. And this isn't just happening to me now. I'm hearing several other people. All to say, that's where I'm at with that. That was way more than 90 seconds, by the way. <sighs> editing me here. It's literally like probably a week after I actually filmed. I'm sitting here at my computer editing. I'm not going to go into detail just in order to keep the storyline of my vlog what it is here, but I'm going to put what just happened at the end of this vlog. Crazy. This is what life is, right? We have to rise above the situation and say what really matters, what's really important. With that, right before my account went dark, I started talking about that you can now connect with me on text. If you would like to be in touch with me on a personal level, text me. I'm texting really exciting, joyful, beautiful things as much as possible. And I would love you to be part of that. I am going to get in the car for the spirit of it and head over to Target. So 
Let's do it. <laughs> Speaking of joy, I wanted to show you a couple quick things. First of all, this is a new H&M half zip, but it's cashmere, so it's very, it's just beautiful, high quality. I would like to get the matching joggers as soon as they come out with them. Um, and then over it, I'm wearing an Anthropology. It's like a nylon puffer, but it's super lightweight. So two winners. This is the joy joy today. You guys want to see something fun? Let me show you this. This is just a little sneak peek into my new office. So I just had it painted all white. So oh, previously my office was upstairs. I just, this is part of moving into a new phase in my life and business because I just needed to get out of that space, out of that energy. So this is my new pattern interrupt. The putting together of this office is going to take months because it takes forever to get furniture right now. But um, I'm gonna just like continue to do behind the scenes here with you to show you what the design inspo is, what I've ordered, all the deals I'm finding. Um, like I'm just so excited. So new beginnings, right? All right, I've got three things I'm looking for today for Target Thursday. The rug, the journal, and then the third thing are just any dupes. Like I'm always looking for good dupes. It's gotta be high quality though. So if I find anything, you know you're gonna be the first to know. So Target Thursday was a tradition I did every Thursday on Instagram where I'd shop for the best of the best things and then I'd post about it. But I'll also be sharing it on the Daily Joy Joy. So Thursdays will definitely be dedicated to my favorite things I'm finding at Target. We start with these amazing puffer jackets. The Wild Fable ones are very thin, but this gorgeous red burgundy, a new day puffer. Here's what I love about this. It is a straight up aloe yoga dupe. I was in aloe yoga the other day. The Stunner Puffer Jacket is $498. This puffer is so good. The color, the style, and $35. It's just such a winner. It's in my cart. I love it just for the color alone. Um, Christmas, holidays, however you celebrate, it's definitely already arrived. No matter when you're watching this video, uh, the holidays arrive early for Target. And um, I love these jammies. These are sort of the boutique brand that they carry and put sort of by the wild fable things. So it feels a little preteen or teenage, but the pattern is young and youthful and beautiful. Mama, this one's for us the quilted universal thread lounge set. It is so beautiful and so high quality. This is the beige color. I think I'm going to look today to see if there's other colors, but look at the detail. I mean, the, it's like an amazing, beautiful piping. It's really good. So I was at my daughter's cheerleading game last weekend and there was a woman in this sweater. She was wearing like a long, thin, sort of like athletic skin top under and then leggings. And she looked like a rock star. I mean, she looked so good. And I'm like, I love you in that. And she goes, it's Target. I'm like, I know sister. I know it's Target because I've seen it. One size fits most. Just FYI, if you like your things more oversized or you're curvy or you're plus, or you just need more room, go online because the one size fits most also has plus versions as well. And that sweater is amazing. Um, okay. Here's more colors of our beautiful quilted set, the beige, the pink. It's almost like a salmon color. There's green. I was looking for black. I don't see it, but I'm going to grab this color because I really like it. So I'll try it on at the end of the video. And also speaking of try-ons, I mean, this is a no brainer for me. Oh, you guys, it's so cute. It's just so good. It's cozy and comfy, and it also has a bit of a sophistication to it. All right, moving on to the Colsey section, you can see another plaid set, which I love. Um, and if you follow anyone who does anything Target, you have probably seen these Skims dupes. Uh, this is the Kim Kardashian Skims line dupe. They're also like a Barefoot Dreams material. It is so cozy. I love these, especially for my preteen, who I think she could wear these to like a sleepover with big a big hoodie over it or something. Um, but it comes in white. It comes in pink. It's decently priced, about $17 a piece. 
All right, we're now in all in motion. The only thing I'm finding today is the sweatshirt. And I really like it. For $24, it feels high quality, but it's also thin enough that I feel as though we can layer this under our blazers or our denim jackets. You know, peeping that little hoodie out, it's just so in style right now. It's such a cool girl look. Um, this comes in all different colors, but I love this color. So I didn't see the jogger version, but I will certainly let you know when I do. Joy, joy, you know? Okay. Hearth and hand. I went right to the holiday stuff. Hearth and hand is like going off. They are having a moment for the holidays. Look at these plates, the trays, the mugs. I mean, it's so good. This one's actually threshold. Um, I am a sucker for a really good holiday mug. Surprise, surprise. Hearth and Hand makes a small mug, but these are not small. So I am actually going to probably grab four of these red ones because I can just imagine like all through December drinking our coffee and hot cocoa, each of us having one. It's just beautiful, sophisticated, and that red is just gorgeous. The joy is the color red for me. Can you hear it? <laughs> oh, there's so many great holiday, beautiful things. Take your time. I mean, the early bird gets the worm here. And if you shop Target, you know more and more and more is going to be coming out. I would say probably until early December. This is so cute, but I'm sure we're going to get like 10 other versions of this. So I'm going to leave it right here. So one of the highlights of my office that I showed you is the Baukel ivory look. I ordered a bunch from CB2. I can't wait till it arrives. I'm gonna show you everything. But look at this, here's the dupe. Linwood Cube, this one's $95. It's a little better than the CB2 one. It'll probably get filthy, but I just think it's so cool. It The, the texture is everything, you know? Here's more plaid, more fun. I'm not going to get the pillow. I'm not going to get the dish. Although, you know, I didn't grab this dish, but I feel like I'm going to go back and grab this dish. Cheers. This cute little quilted monochrome lounge set is phenomenal. So beautiful, so high quality. I'm in love. Don't forget. Text me here and stay in touch with me every day. You and I, mano y mano. Love you. So I have a friend who has helped me with social media in the past. She has like a part-time gig at Facebook. And this whole time she's been actually trying to find someone to talk to about this. And today she sent me an email of an email they sent her that basically said, we've reinstated this account, which is my account. Um, but if they violate these terms and the terms were just written in like an apostrophe, so like there were no terms violated, this account will be shut down, which was basically like, in my mind, a thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> There's so many layers to this, but my account is back. What I've said in this vlog though is very true. My account may be back, but I won't be. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you that quick update. There is so much I have learned, even just editing this vlog, there is so much I've learned about myself over the last couple of weeks being off of Instagram, and I would love to share it. I don't know if this is interesting. I certainly don't wanna make it sound like social media is bad as a blanket statement. Here we are on YouTube, right? Um, and I'm not definitely immune to being on YouTube's platform, but at the same time, there's a lot I've learned and uh, it's probably worth a video in and of itself just for those of you who are wondering what life on the other side looks like. So all to say, thank you for watching. Um, if you have anything to say for yourself or about your own social media journey, would love for you to comment below, would love for you to text me. Also, if you are feeling dark or if there is any mental health issue that feels unusual for you, do not discount that it could be social media. Um, that's part of the story I feel like I probably should tell. And, um, and just know we're here. I am here for you and there's a lot of other people who are here for you. Do not hesitate to reach out. And um, yeah, more later. <laughs>